Hi, my name is Annie. I'm one of the IT trainer from BMAX Academy. Hello everyone, I'm Sajina from BMAX Academy. Today we are here to discuss some of the common doubts that you the students are facing when you are writing the case rules, especially in grammar. So, uh, with me, uh, our senior most trainer, Sajina Ma'am is here. We will discuss with you some of your common doubts and uh, that especially uh, when you are writing the case notes, uh, we are giving utmost preferences for the uh, introduction. So, ma'am, can you please tell me which are the important parts that you uh, are going through with this? Definitely, ma'am. When it comes to injury, we can see the students, they, most of the time they write, uh, she was diagnosed injury. Uh, so, it's not a proper usage. Instead of that, we have to write, she has or he has sustained injury. Yes, that's correct, ma'am. Because and another one of the most problem that they are facing, I think it's uh, uh, especially when they are writing some uh, diagnosis will be there, has been diagnosed and uh, was diagnosed. So can you, ma'am, uh, I think it's better for them to give a brief explanation uh, definitely, there also. Definitely, ma'am. We use uh, was diagnosed with short term conditions uh, like fever, pneumonia and so on. And we use has been diagnosed with long term con condition like cancer, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's disease and uh, so on okay ma'am thank you and ma'am uh, another one is that one especially uh, I think uh, it's very important for us for the students I think they will get while they are writing the pronouns I think uh, they need as an explanation when they are writing this pronouns uh, yeah ma'am well most of the students they make the readers confused when they write he him her for example mr. Peter presented to the hospital with his son who is concerned his father have dementia his mm. father has or his son has then only the reader can easily clarify to whom this condition is okay ma'am it's a very uh, good idea that you can pass to the students because you see most of the students are making mistakes when they will see uh, mother and his baby mother and his son uh, her son or uh, mr martin and uh, his son like that when they will see the case notes they will get more confused so this is a good idea that you can pass to the students and ma'am especially uh, most of the students uh, they will make some mistakes when they are writing underwent or undergone like that so can you clarify that yeah, one definitely ma'am uh, when it comes to verb we have five forms like v1 v1s v2 v3 and mm. ving and with v2 form we do not use any was or I have seen students writing he was underwent surgery. Yes. We do not use has or was with verb second form. We have yes. to rise, write he underwent surgery and it is very essential to use the time marker. For yes. example, he underwent surgery on 12th November 2020. And when it comes to V3 form, we yes. know that we have to use undergone. Mm. In that case, we have to write has or have. For yes. example, with he, she, we use has. Yes. So, we can say Mr. Martin has undergone surgery and there is no need to mention the time maker as well. Okay, ma'am. Uh, you see, whenever the students are writing, I think in the especially in the present history, they will make some mistakes, common mistakes. I have found out that. Uh, I think you also watched. I think so. Mainly, uh, they have a uh, mistakes uh, in has while using has and was. Uh, they don't know. They sometimes they will write was increased. I don't know uh, why they are writing like that. Can you give an explanation for this one? Because yeah. it's a common doubt for yeah. them. Ma'am, actually, when we write the letter, it's actually uh, for around 80%, it's a patient-centric. So, normally we use passive voice. Yes. You know that when we use passive voice, we will use has. Yes. She was administered paracetamol. She was given like that. So, yeah. when just by keeping in mind, whenever they make a sentence, automatically they use the word was. Yes. But when we write healthcare verb mm. like patient's condition, mm. there is no need to use was because instead of that we have to use in active voice. We can yes. say her condition has improved, yeah, her okay. condition has deteriorated, yes. her BP has increased, her BP has decreased. Mm. For example, most of the students why they make mistake is ma'am mm. as we all know when it comes to present we know we say it is is, is when yes. it comes to past we normally use yes, was. was definitely for that case what they think is when it comes to past they use was yes. but with healthcare verb like her blood pressure 
condition for everything we have to use has and most of the time we can we have seen i mean you to have seen like that mm. they have they are writing she was experienced yes yes so obviously Woman i so i have making, seen so many of the students are writing like this she has experienced mm. difficulty yes. she has instead of that we have to use and we have to write in active voice yes okay then ma'am um we can uh, give a small explanation and uh, moreover i think whenever it will come to the discharge plan means uh, the recommendation paragraph i they uh, many of them are making mistakes when they are writing the please note please note afterwards we know that when they have to put a comma and they have to how to continue the sentences sometimes they will write she has to be continued or uh, to be continued like that so uh -huh. how, what how, how the way you if, i think you better you can clarify that no doubt or so for the students yeah ma'am actually uh, while writing this recommendation para we use the time markers like please yes. please note or uh, please kindly mm -hmm. and when we use this please and kindly we have to use the verb first form yes, of for course. example please monitor his blood, blood pressure group, yes. monitor is verb first form so we have to use monitor, monitor. kindly advise him to take rest advise yes. is verb first form we mm. have to use uh, and when it comes to please note and kindly note mm. it is very essential to give the subject for yes. example kindly note and we have to place comma there he needs assistance yes. he we have to give the subject he then we have to write right the word. he needs assistance in work yes that's the most mistakes i think the students are making when they are writing the case notes and especially uh, um, uh, i think uh, we, now we have clarified some of your doubts regarding this and uh, stay tuned with us we will come with another session and you can send us a feedback for us if you have any doubts you can send through the number that has given below you can send a messages for us and we will clarify whatever the doubts that you have uh, regarding this grammar part uh, whenever you are writing a case notes so thank you all Thank you.